Uh, whoa. What the? Okay, I can just get shot right off the rip. Forgot you can't heal. Oh. 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 That guy's mad. These guys are playing hardcore, dude, over here. Oh. <laughs> what was that? What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and tonight I have a second video here for you guys talking about the new teaser trailer for Modern Warfare 2, a free beta code you can get, and some other new reports. Definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and make sure you have notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Cold War Year 2, Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, and any other future Call of Duty as well. I want to thank all you guys once again for the support on last night's gameplay stream, where we went ahead and played some MW19 multiplayer. I've gotten some more B-roll over the last couple of weeks for upcoming MW2 news videos, but I'm like, you know what, let's go ahead and stream some MW multiplayer. And since I moved to PC recently, I've noticed that my perspective of MW multiplayer has drastically changed, and it was a ton of fun. Absolutely dominating matches of gunfight, gun game. We did some domination. We also did some 1v1s. It was a ton of fun, and I should be doing another gameplay stream at some point tomorrow evening. But it was confirmed earlier today that if you are an Xfinity customer in the United States, they have updated their rewards to include a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 beta code as a new reward. Check the reward section in your Xfinity profile to see if the offer is there for you and once again you'll redeem this code and then depending on what platform you choose I'll put the schedule on screen so you can see you can start playing the beta on that specific weekend for your platform now I do plan on giving away another five plus codes for MW2 multiplayer let me know down below in the comments once again if you still need a code and I'll probably announce the winners again in a future MW2 video whether it's this weekend or at some point early next week before the COD next event now besides more MW multiplayer streams I did a poll on my stream yesterday to ask you guys when I should go platinum an MW19 multiplayer over on PlayStation? Should it be before COD Next or after? And you guys absolutely killed the poll by saying that I should do it before COD Next. So that stream will probably also happen at some point this Sunday or even early next week. And we also have a report from the infamous PlayStation Game Size over on Twitter, who very typically covers Call of Duty news by talking about when upcoming patches and updates are going to be. And he went ahead and said that the PlayStation Store pages are not up yet for Modern Warfare 2's beta, but did leave some links in there. I'm assuming those are the correct links that will end up being used for the Americas, Europe, we also have East Asia, and even Japan. So be sure to check out these links whenever the beta does officially become visible on the PlayStation Store. He's predicting on September the 14th or the 15th should be when we see that. And that makes sense, right? Because COD Next is the 15th and the beta goes live a day later. So earlier that week should be when we end up seeing a preload or a store page pop up for MW2 multiplayer. But I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. Now don't forget, during the COD Next event, there will maybe even be some beta code drops that happen. Although, because they just gave away 50,000 during during the CDL finals. Maybe they won't do that, but I still think they're probably considering the possibility of doing that just in case. But earlier this evening, as I was posting my last video where we talked about the new Hazel bundle that released in Vanguard and Warzone, we got a new TV spot for Modern Warfare 2, which apparently is also playing on Facebook and Instagram. It's about 15 seconds in length and you get a nice look at Soap, bit of an extension to previous bits of marketing we've gotten of this same mission. And we do get to see what looks like our first look at the AC-130 in action in Modern Warfare 2 or whatever gunship we're gonna end up getting in the campaign that'll likely be a kill streak over in multiplayer as well but my question for you guys is is this the same plane that we also got a glimpse of before in a previous trailer we got from Modern Warfare 2 when I first saw that I speculated that, that could have been our first look at the drop plane for Warzone 2 considering in the original MW Global Reveal trailer in 2019 we also got a glimpse of the Warzone intro before even knowing that Warzone was going to exist so I figured they might have done the same thing this time around with this plane but maybe this is not the same plane that we'll be using as a gunship in the campaign campaign. Now, I think it's inevitable that we're going to be seeing an AC-130 or gunship of sorts in multiplayer. I mean, we had a gunship in MW-19, so they'll probably give us a newer version of that, but Charlie Intel and some other gaming outlets did write articles a couple of months ago talking about leaked killstreaks that I believe got found through a Warzone mobile data mine, because somehow, again, there's information about Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and even Black Ops 2024 within the Warzone mobile files. They first reported on the UAV, which is expected, something called a smoke airdrop, which might just be one of those simpler streaks that only cost a couple of kills and when you call that in it just throws smoke everywhere which I guess is okay we're not exactly sure what that is yet we also have a fuel bomb which is speculated to be like a new predator missile that we would expect in a mono warfare game and then we have what's called a cluster spike which is going to be very similar to the IMS a pretty annoying kill streak but something we haven't seen in a little while as well and we also have the thermal bark napalm strike so that's going to be something that will also be pretty useful of course in MW2 depending on how many kills it ends up requiring 
and there's also been rumors of a juggernaut coming back i mean it wouldn't be a mono warfare game without a juggernaut suit right so i think that's definitely a given when it comes to some upcoming kill streaks and other than that we don't know much more about kill streaks in mono warfare 2 but i'm sure during the cod next event we'll end up getting plenty of confirmation of exactly every streak and multiplayer we're going to end up seeing at least in the beta and then we'll probably get a blog post a couple of weeks after that talking about what to expect at launch as well but today playstation also dropped a trailer for the mono warfare 2 vault edition just to showcase some of the content you end up getting by pre-ordering that edition and we get some new looks at some of this content what's weird though is when they go ahead and mention the fjx cinder weapon pack you don't really get a glimpse of what it is from this trailer the image that was dropped by call of duty a couple of months ago does give us a better idea of what to expect with this which as of right now we're speculating is going to be a blueprint that you could actually modify the attachments for without changing the look of the blueprint itself which will be the first of its kind and hopefully doesn't really cost much more than 2400 cod points when they end up selling some other weapon vaults like this in the future of mw2's life cycle but there's also no mention of khaled al-assad in this trailer which is interesting but you guys get the idea this is everything you're going to get in the premium edition or the vault edition i should say of mono warfare 2 the most expensive edition and i don't think there'll be any other bonuses added to the edition itself unless there's some surprise coming at some point in the future still a bit bummed out that we didn't get a collector's edition of any sort maybe something as simple as a ghost mask or something which could have been physical that you can pick up at a retailer or you could order online doesn't look like call of duty's interested in bringing back collector's editions anytime soon but hopefully and just hopefully black ops 2024 ends up coming out with something like that now i did make a video quite some time ago talking about which edition you should pick up for modern warfare 2 and obviously more awards have been added and modified since i made that video but at the time of recording this now i will still say it all depends on what exactly you're looking for with a pre-order right you care about those bonus in-game cosmetics many of which aren't even for modern warfare 2 but are for cod 1.0 or vanguard i should say even mw19 games that you're probably not going to end up picking up again once mw2 and cod 2.0 fully launches with warzone 2 so that's something to consider and it's also worth noting that plenty of retailers right now are offering different pre-order incentives gamestop has a steelbook and a poster walmart's gonna give you some actual control freaks which i know are just a green version of those warzone thumbsticks we got last year for call of duty but it looks like different retailers are trying to compete when it comes to call of duty pre-order sales and they're doing it in different ways but overall i'd still personally recommend a digital edition for this game considering only a digital pre-order will grant you early access to the beta and early access to the campaign by a week but something else i saw today which i wanted to touch on briefly is regarding the way they've been marketing modern warfare 2 now something i said a couple of months ago back when the campaign reveal happened was that i was hoping that an early campaign reveal just meant that we were going to get an early multiplayer reveal maybe even an early beta and then hopefully an early launch altogether but clearly that's not exactly what's been going on we got our campaign reveal then it was pretty quiet for quite some time then finally we started getting little bits of info the intel drops and now we got confirmation of the cod next event which i'm excited about but what i will say is if it wasn't for the cod next event then marketing definitely would be pretty strange right now in comparison to recent years and how we got multiplayer trailers very early on in september or even late august but if you're one of those people that's a bit concerned that the only marketing you've really gotten for mw2 is little 15 second tv spots then trust me when i tell you cod next is about to be one of the biggest events we've ever seen for the franchise and hopefully it's also going to be an event that we start seeing every single year with new call of duties i'm definitely curious on how experimental this event is about to be though in comparison to recent years where they do separate trailers for everything we're still going to get separate trailers for each new mode and whatnot but it'll all be something that's premiered live on a single day we're talking multiplayer warzone 2 warzone mobile possibly other surprises there's gonna be a lot in store for this event and i certainly hope it's received well by the community right an event that's very different from what we're accustomed to in previous years of call of duty marketing and i do hope there aren't folks stuck in the past with saying oh you should just do those individual trailers like we used to get because i'm all for that too it's always fun to get that big trailer day but i think something so community driven like cod next is gonna be something mind-blowing for the community which hopefully is here to stay but last and definitely not least we have something that i want to touch on a little bit i brought this up in my previous video earlier today but in case you guys missed that we have a new eminem music video which does have an mw3 logo at about a minute and 44 seconds into the video itself which has sparked a lot of confusion regarding eminem's liking for modern warfare 3 does he just like the game that much so he included it in there is that his favorite cod or is this hinting at something even deeper i mean we're all aware he did a song won't back down which was featured in black ops 1 zombies he did the song survival for the ghost reveal trailer but hasn't done any work for call of duty since so could he and i mean could he be doing some type of teasing here for a potential mono warfare 3 remaster is that just a stretch i know it could be i don't want to be that guy that makes a full video about this but figured i'd bring that up just in case in case you didn't see this i mean the yellow mw3 logo is the official one from 
2011. I know the green one is the primary logo they always use to market the game, but a yellow version did exist, so it definitely is weird that he randomly put that in his music video today. Now, I do hope to see Eminem's return to the COD franchise at some point, whether he's an operator, whether he does music for a trailer again. I know Metallica is kind of the group they go with for Modern Warfare specific marketing, but maybe he'll do some music for a trailer and he's just teasing that he's interested in working with COD again. Who knows? But it's coincidental that this has come up just days after Gaming Super The Ghost of Hope claimed the MW3 campaign remastered is still going to happen and does indeed exist. But if you want to see my other video talking about MW3 campaign remastered from the other day, I'll have that video linked down below in the description. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the second video here tonight talking about the new teaser trailer we got for the AC-130 gunship in Modern Warfare 2? How are you feeling about the beta code announcement and the other information we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.